Hey guys, it's time for Tandy with another video this time, and you expect me to make this like what I said in my my um power to share past reactions video. Oh, that I was gonna do a line collection for this video. I was trying to decide if I wanted to, to do an SPD green or S or in space yellow or even zeal red because I I know I said I was gonna finally do a review on the Dino Thunder figures because I really want I was gonna really have fun reviewing those, it's just I'm a little bit busy still do, doing some painting and stuff. And then I'm also trying to finish up some things with um waste um Dino Thunder White's um sword sword and you know the dragon dra dragon sword. Um but you get a point of point but besides that we are in here for another line collection power light in collection figure review and and we're doing in space yellow so I finally got this like a few weeks ago before my pre order went through once again, and I'm just gonna have to wait for any more purses for a line collection until next month. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be working on getting more line collection figures, including with going in the next month. But just get um, in space yellow out of the way, and, and just get, get that off. Um, let's go over the box real quick, as usual. Um, also, let's move back. Sorry if it's been, if you're seeing some glare with the, with the um. The pure, but yeah, I'm not gonna go over too much because it's practically almost the same as the other ones, just in this time in space. So, on the side, we have the arms uh, art made by Tom Whaling, really on the side, and then we have Poundage Line Collection right here in space yellow again on the side. Same artwork by Tom Whaling, which looks pretty good. The the um, show logo on, on, on the top there. Yellow on the top, and then nothing really much on the bottom. And then on the, on the back, product shot finds of the figure. Again, this and the also this is a different color than than than, than the one we got. And then all, and then also this the other one's actually better than what the figure which we will get into in a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much for the box. I don't want to go any longer with this, so let's go on with the figure itself. And let's just get the. Uh, I think I'll just get the articulation out. So here is the figure itself, and yep, I'm and I'm really excited. I really do like this figure overall, but going over the articulation first, it's again there's nothing too much to the articulation besides the again this is pretty much the same female mold we got with the uh, some of the other um, female rangers from like Ranger Slayer. Well, actually, Ranger Slayer might be a little bit different than, but um, at least I'm um, training. Or at least just Kimberly, the ones with the skirts. That's what I'm mostly getting at. But I think the only thing new is the helmet and then the belt and then honestly the holster. At least that part. And then maybe the skirt is a little bit different. But again, I can't really tell. And as far as the most part is, it's pretty much good. I will say that my leg it looks a little warped, so I might actually fix that at some point. So I'm along with the other warped stuff I had. And, but yeah. I'll go over the detail in a little bit, but going over the articulation, we got 360 for the head, a hinge for oh, uh, that can go up and then go down, down. The arms can go out, out, all up into a T pose, right? Like it's so. There's no bicep swivel. There is an elbow swivel, and then we do get just single joint elbows. I think the other side kind of. Okay, actually, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It kind of goes that far, maybe even further in. If you just do this side, it obviously won't go too far. I never use that side, but yeah, arms can go in that far. I really wish there was double joint elbows, but yeah, the hands. Um, this one's a little stiff. The hands can go hinge up and down. I feel like this one's a little. Then on the tight side, I don't know what's up with this one. This one isn't. I really don't know what's up with it. And yeah, just to show you again. Because I am completed, and this is the reason why I need to get a new an actual camera. And yeah, this hand is a little bit on the stiff side, but yeah. I also got a diaphragm joint, so I'm going to go back that far and this far forward. I can't say too much, but again, use it in tandem with the the app crunch. And go for that far, and then go for this back. Go for back this far again. So yeah, we got. That and then the last thing go do a full splint since the scar is a 
soft plastic and not the hard plastic like the like the um the legacy one which I do have the legacy yellow one in space yellow also get a nice oval double joint knees and like I said this leg is a little bit warped I will bow leg it I think but I will, might fix that up but yeah And I'm kind of a little worried about this foot, this leg in general, with not almost snapping, but hopefully it doesn't. I don't know, this leg kind of worries me. I think, I don't know, they're, they're a little bit kind of bothersome, but yeah, we got that. And then they boot swivel for both signs, and then we got a toe hinge, which that one's stiff, and then, okay, maybe both of them are stiff. And then... We got the beautiful ankle pit. And that is pretty much it for the articulation. Now let's go over just the look of the figure. Okay, so I'm actually going over the look of the figure. Besides the obvious bow leg, the leg that's kind of like bow legged. And I'm definitely going to be fixing that. Hopefully. Hopefully it can be fixed. I, I don't know. Just need, really need to fix that. But as far as like the kind of like the details of the figure, we have the white gun, once in the white glove, the white hand. Well, gloves or gloved hands or I don't know what to call. You, you get what I'm saying. The hands, basically, and the boots—they're all plain. We got some like uh, detail, some just the the white and yellow on the back. At least the white stri stripe. We also got just the colors on the. And then we just got the colors on on her chest. The just basically the colors of the team: black, yellow, red, pink, and blue. Oh, and yeah, um, besides the bow leg and everything looks pretty good, we got the also the belt block on which is different so much. I always thought this had like an envelope, just or at least a mail icon on, on you know, like the for mail on the computer, not, not just mail as a gender, but I'm talking about just the envelope symbol for mail, basically, on like emails or something like that. So that you kind of get my point. Cut, but then again, this is me. This in space was an adaptation from, from Mega Ranger, so again, that was more tech based. And yeah, it falls down on the floor because again, again that's stupid ball wagonness. And but again, and besides that, um, also just going over the helmet, which looks pretty good. And we got the black, like just spot up here, which um, basically that's supposed to have the symbol on it. Everything there's no like symbol there as far as I can see. It's just black We have the whites going all around and then we also have just on the, the visor silver for the mouth plate and then the the um The yellow kind of like the well Well the same logo here is obviously it's not too detailed I will say mine has a little bit of paint issue if you guys can see that line in the center is a little going up, isn't like it's too a little bit misaligned, but it's not too misaligned to see from afar at least. It's just if you see it up close, and, and you'll notice it. But I might even fix that by just using a gun to mark it. But yeah, I don't know. Details again, nothing too much. Again, like I said, again, there's nothing too much to go over with this one. So let's. That's pretty much it for the look of the figure. Now let's go on with the accessories. So now going over the accessories again. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure these are the right ones, but again, they were they were practically almost the same ones as the the R2. At least um, mine were pink. We have have um two weapon holding hands, and then we got like two. We we have a fist, and then we have a karate chop in hand. I don't really care about these hands. I just I just keep these hands in because I'm one. I'm afraid. It, if I switch out a hand, it's gonna the peg is gonna break, and then also again, and then like I said, the and, and then I just don't really use these hands too much. But yeah, we just got that that for the interchangeable hands. Also, we got the actual blaster, which looks pretty cool. Again, I literally lost. I don't even remember where the astral blaster for. And for what the legacy figures are even for my legacy in space yellow is 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 anyway, but yeah. 
Apparently, there's nothing really too much difference besides this one. I, I think it's kind of like a little bit better. Not oversized or anything, but it has all the detailing. The logo, the silver, the red. And then the silver up here. But yeah. Um, it can go under her hand. I don't even think. I think this is also molded in blue, so it won't. Uh, but yeah, you, you put it in her hand, uh, and just like that. That and yeah, pretty much good. And you can also just put it in the holster, which I've just been keeping it in there. I don't think there's been any like paint chipping off or anything like that. And yeah, just let's just put it like that. That's got me a little bit of issue. I don't even know if it's. Oh, is then, yeah, I just forgot to turn off the sound again. Yeah, on again, but yeah. We got those two things, and then also just to go into, like, one more of the usual thing, and that is the civilian head, which, um, I don't know, it, it looks okay, but I'm just saying, I think the facial expression just kind of breaks it for, like, everyone, so... I just kind of like that the, the newer ones are just getting like just um, serious faces and not like any smiling or anything like that. But it's just kind of like that same thing for and for my one pink, which I'll just take off the head and then put this on. I don't even know if I put this on on the head before. Four, but again, let's and there there it is on the head on the. The, the civilian head on, the actor head, what you want to call it. And yeah, it, it looks okay. It's not the greatest. It's just kind of like that same thing for my one pink. And now we're going to come up. And there we have just the head skull back on. I'm, and now to go with the last thing is, is, is your section of weapon, the, the Star Slayer. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called because I was watching Japan Anime's video review for this just to make sure. And because I haven't watched the. I actually haven't watched In Space for a while. I have both volumes on DVD at least, but again, still. We have the actual, oh, the Star Slinger. I don't know why I'm saying actual. Well, again, even though I just said it. But yeah, we have all, we have like the, like the slingshot part and then and just out there. We have the silver and then the black and the, and the always yellow, which mine's not warped or anything. And, and then finally, we have the effect part right here, which is just kind of like just air, energy arrow part, which um, but you can just go on here. And then you just put these these onto here. And yeah, there we got on the address the uh, the star swing. I don't know why I said that, but. As usual, you can put this this just right here. Here and yeah. I'm probably gonna put it back in the pose that I had in the for the beginning of the review, but but yeah, that's basically it for like the the accessories. Now let's go along with some well, some size can. What just well, actually, just one size comparison. I don't want to go too long with the size comparisons. So first, I'm gonna slam you guys just do it with two other figures that are not pounds or weight, just to get it out of the way. And here is the Elite A4 um, rear railway figure, along with the Marvel Legends screen figure from the Venom Builder figure wave from years back, back with from the Monster Venom Builder figure wave and. Yeah, side by side, both of these, these, um, kind of tower over a little bit, so I will say that now, even though you guys are seeing this from a different angle, but I'm just trying to put this really up. But yeah, you can kind of see that both, honestly, both of these are because these aren't wine collection, eh. and I don't know, it kind of worked for this since, again, this is both Hasbro, but. This is Mattel, so again, besides that, honestly, there's the size between those two, 
two, just those two figures. And then here is a comparison with just two other Power Rangers figures. That, and yeah, I'm not, and they're not Lion Collection because I don't want to pull out my, because I have, have it in my my reference yellow, and pink and and that pop. I have the, my um my more figures in, in like the pose for the for the um the power blaster or the you know the combined mode and everything how he can if you want to change your terms so I I just got the the basic series um Beast Mars yellow and then the five inch and some Super Mega Force yellow or Gokai yellow because I kind of just like thinking this is Gokai yellow still hoping the new line collection of of the, the Super Mega Force team. Mostly the artist Go Kaiser team because again I just like the suits and I just want representation of Go Kaiser. But yeah, both of these look pretty good. This one looks more better with side by side with this because these are practically the same height since these are six inches and stuff. Often like that, and then this one's always five inches. But yeah, that's pretty much it for like just these. Two figures, and now let's go on with our last comparison. And finally, the obvious one that you kind of expected, and probably the last time you've seen a legacy figure since I only got the movie ones, and then I got the. I got the. The movie ones, and then ones like yellow, which I'll just put here for a minute. And. And the movie ones like. Like these ones, and then pretty much just Ninja Storm, and then and the rest of the My Morphin team. And then I'm still planning on getting Dino Thunder, even despite my issues with the figures. I just still want to get that the build mega worth though. But yeah, you can definitely tell some differences here and there. And yeah, everything from the proportions, the the belt buckle, the just everything in general. I line collection just. Just kicks, just um kicks everything to kicks the this this one to the curb everything. And I like the line collection better. This one can just go like, as usual, like with the other rest of the legacy figures. Can take off, like, like, and here you go. That, that's basically it for the line. Or the lighting collection and in space yellow figure. I definitely can say I really love this. I, I, I definitely really like this figure. It's kind of one. It, I think it even might be one of the best figures of the way because I think this um, wave only had like had mostly. It had, it had mostly my Morphin. We had um, my Morphin Black, my Morphin. Um, I, no, wait, I think this one's the my Morphin. Uh, I can't exactly remember. I think it was my more black in space yellow, Zeo red, and then yeah, I think that's the yeah Zeo red, and then then Goldor. I, I'm pretty because I think the previous one was Dino Thunder red, my more green Z party, and then uh, we always a my more from white. So yeah, I, I I'm gonna say this was the best figure of the wave even again. Again, the actor's hand was is still kind of suffering, at least as far as like the ones that I can think of for the, the women's, at least. Even though I think my friend Yellow had the best one, like the training head sculpt that actually looked like the actor. I'm gonna say it now, but yeah, I will say I I like this this one on the best, and, and I'm even even in, in space fan also. It might be one of my in my top three, maybe my, my top five at least, it's just kind of a little hard to pick because I'm dying then it's my favorite season, and then there's Ninja Storm, which kind of holds a special place in my heart because, again, it's kind of what got me into Power Rangers in the first place, and then there's In Space, and then SPD. I don't know. It's just a, it's kind of a little hard in some cases, but again, the number of these, but again, you kind of get my point. But yeah, I really like we didn't We didn't get like anything skimmed out like the. Like the the signature, signature weapon for the Ranger. I'm glad we got the the stars the the, the star slayer. I'm not, I almost thought I was gonna it was something else called something else, but I'm pretty sure I got the name right this time. 
but yeah, I'm really glad. I like the effect part. I like the, I like the effect part. I I like the, the Star Slayer. I like the cool, the, the Astro Blaster. You know, the interchangeable hands are okay, and then, and then, like I said, the actor head sculpt is okay also. It's, it's just good to have options. Just if you just want to do it all the, and such like that. But yeah, I I can pretty much say I I, would, I recommend this figure for anyone that's been collecting the light collection. That's a die, and that's especially a diehard in space fan, like I said, and, and also just been like, and and just any anyone. I I think this is kind of one of the female figures I also recommend. But again, and it, it just all depends on your personal preference, and, then, and that's kind of like going down to the point. But you kind of understand. But I do recommend this for anyone collecting the light collection, like I said, and then anyone fan in space and just and just. Uh, this grew up with the series overall, but again, that's practically it. I don't want to go any longer than I need to, but remember to like this video, comment down below what you guys think of this figure, what you, what you guys think of this figure, like I said, and yeah, I'm just going to move in a little bit more. Figure in general, do you like it, do you hate it, do you got some pain issues like like mine with just with the helmet or even the chest piece, because it seems people had some pain issues with the pain, with the, with the um, symbols on the chest, and like I said, and um, anything like that down below. Or subscribe, tap the bell. More videos coming soon. And again, this is one of the videos that I'm celebrating 100 subscribers. Let's just go off all the way. Like I said, let's try to get up to 200, 500, even a thousand, maybe at least. And yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it for this video. And this is Ida's 15, Golden Rider. I'm back. Rider kicking out of here.